Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be going over a really creative effect. It's called a double exposure, and you've probably seen examples of it in still photography, but you may not have seen it as much in video. Today, we're going to be going over how to get this effect right inside of Premiere. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is shoot your footage. You're going to need to have two different kinds of footage. Your bottom clip, which will sort of be the canvas that your top clip will be superimposed onto. When shooting your bottom clip, it's important that you have your subject or object surrounded by white, as pure white as you can possibly get. You can do this a bunch of different ways, but a couple examples are either by having a white backdrop or by shooting your subject against an overexposed sky. In this example we're working with, I shot against a white wall, but it was far from the best case scenario. It's got lots of different shades and differences with distracting textures, but we're going to work with it and see how we can still get a usable image out of it. Now take your clips into Premiere. Take the clip of your subject and place it on the bottom. Now take the clip that you want to place on top of it and place it one layer above. Go to your effect controls, opacity settings, and then choose the blending options screen. And there you go, the effect is starting to take form. But now we're seeing why we needed the background to be perfectly white. It's because dark elements will more clearly show the top clip, and anything purely white will just stay white. So we need to find a way to make our background more bright and white without ruining the look of our subject. Take the bottom clip of your subject and go to Lumetri Color Options. Play around with things like exposure, contrast, and even curves and saturation. We can see that simply increasing the exposure gets rid of a lot of background spill. Keep playing around with different parameters until you get the look that you want. You can also do the same for the top clip to stylize it until you get the look that you desire. Start by going for a look that achieves the effect and then work on stylizing. The rest is totally a matter of preference, but I would make a last suggestion. This effect tends to have a really dreamy and surreal feel to it, so it can help keep a consistent feel by shooting at a higher frame rate so that you can make it slow motion later on. But that's it, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, we've got tons of other videos you can watch over at motionarray.com. Thank you so much guys, and I hope to see you in the next video.